What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Man, it is dark in here. Is it dark in here? Why does this keep happening? People keep messing with my lights? Very weird. Very weird. Oh man, we've had a uh, we've had a very very busy morning, a very busy morning indeed. I uh, it's been a while since I've applied myself, like really gone out of my way to make an effort to grow myself professionally. And you know, it may not last. Hopefully, it lasts at least until February. But man, I have been creating content all morning long, all morning long. I started a TikTok for my uh, my business consulting agency I've already got a couple of thousand views and I started it last night a couple of thousand views on the TikTok already and I started it last night crazy stuff <clears throat> crazy stuff it's making me rethink some things maybe I'm not leveraging TikTok on Hero War Essential enough maybe not I'm uh, working on one real quick thing, and then we will get we will get going. Man, you can't upload. Facebook is so clunky, guys. Facebook is so clunky. Everything else is so much easier. Facebook has got so much more opportunity in it, though. I mean, for targeted ads and everything, but Facebook is so clunky. I don't even want it. I don't even want it. Oh, man. We are off to a slow start today here on the live stream, though. Let's say hi to everybody. Uh, Lem Bacago is here. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we've got uh, Luxana. I have four subscribers. Says hi. Tunes is here. Glenn is watching over on Facebook. Dark Horse. Ben Little. Hey, Charlie, this is the total opposite from what you were saying before. That a Synethea will be the best. What? Yo, yo, says Rohan. I agree, Thea is the worst healer. Nah, Thea's not the worst healer. She might be on mobile, but not on Facebook and web. Uh, same tunes from Discord. Let's see. Uh, Christopher Washington is here. Patrick Lafort, Darren, welcome back. I see the penguin there on the live stream. Uh, Qnishant, interesting name. Christopher Washington. Vance, what's up? Your war still gives me thrills. Yada, our first week can go. Oh, congratulations, Julia. Congratulations. Uh, I still use Thea for tower raids. Niche, good morning. If you want to grow yourself professionally, switch your career to donut making. <laughs> clever Griff. Clever, clever, clever. Oh, man. I don't see D Warman, but you can still hit that like button. I quit Facebook and the world kept spinning. Oh, man. Yeah. Facebook, I don't use social media, guys. I don't use social media for social media. I use social media as a tool. As a tool. I use social media as a tool to grow my brand and my reach. Gary says hi from Groden, Germany. Judge is here. December came and went in iOS copy paste. Still nothing. Yeah, tunes. Uh, they're all on vacation too. Nobody's talking. Nobody's talking about anything. Nobody is talking about nothing. So I was going to talk, I was going to talk about Krista, but let's talk about Thea. Since there seems to be a lot of uh, chatter about Thea, I, I published this video earlier this morning. Um, let's see here. Let's see your channel. And I published this short, should you invest in Thea? A couple of you are making statements like this is the total opposite. Ben Little, you said this is the total opposite. This is a uh, this is a mobile video. Thea on Hero Wars Mobile is less fun. Less fun, less exciting 
than Thea on Facebook and web. I think that Thea on Facebook and web has a chance at being a top three healer, but you don't need Thea. You don't need Thea. Thea is probably the most replaceable of all of the healers, of all of the pure healers, right? If you call pure healers, what are we what are we looking at? Uh, Dorian, Marcus, Thea, and Martha. Those are probably the four pure healers. They have some utility, sure, 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 sure. But they're not like hybrid damage dealer healers like Celeste, Maya, um, Mojo, Phobos, Nebula. I would say Thea and Marcus are the most easily replaced healers. Thea, I'm sorry, Martha and Dorian are integral parts of their teams. Integral. And you could argue that Marcus and Thea are important. You know, I'm not saying that they're not. I'm just, they're replaceable. They're incredible healers. Thea and Marcus are incredible healers. Thea falls short at the high end, in my opinion, very replaceable. What's up, Sustan? Bambi, Charlie, could you please remind me about the Championship League? How many guilds will be in the top two leagues? Oh, man. We're going to... Um, <laughs> I can't remember the number off the top of my head. It's um, They actually published a, a couple of announcements earlier. We're going to chat about that. In fact, let's let's talk about that now. Let's talk about that right now. Because it, it's it's uh, it was published just a little bit ago, and I feel like we need to... Uh, here we go. We need to discuss it. So, here we go. Um, greetings, brave warriors. On February 1st, we're going to face a big change in the game. There we go. The crossover guild tournament will be transformed into the global championship. What is this? How to prepare for it? This week, we'll gradually tell you about all the key aspects. Uh, what's going to change fundamentally is gold and silver leagues are both going to be included. This is mostly stuff that we've talked about in the past, but this is the official statement to the public, and they've never made an official statement to the public about this uh, in the past. Thea silence can make a difference. Oh, absolutely. I agree. I don't I don't disagree with Thea having utility. That's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that she isn't as necessary to build heroes around. Uh, opponents will be chosen according to guild ranking instead of random selection. This is incredibly important because there's not going to be any more blowouts. And those of you that really care about being on top will stay on top. And those of you that do not want to be on top because you don't have the time or you're not interested in having an, uh, an all-out battle every day, then you're going to fall. And that's how competition should be. You don't want to put the work in every day. You don't deserve to be on top. I said it. There you go. Rewards will vary. Rewards will vary according to the position a guild takes, and they will be given not only after every battle, but also for reaching new heights and at the end of the season. What do you think about the upcoming changes? All right, so that's the first post. And then we have this image right here, uh, basically talking about the difference between the two leagues, the old system crossover wars versus the new system global championships. And then we had this post just a little bit later. As you already know, on February 1st, the crossover guild We'll turn into the Global Championship. We continue to share information. From now on, each guild participating in the Global Championship will have its own position. Every team will have its own position. I'm sorry, every guild. The guild position will be shown by the guild's place in a league and division. Where division is a subgroup within a league. Alright, so you have... Leagues. You have the Earl League, the Viscount, the Baron, the Marquis, the Duke and the qualification battles, as well as the Royal League, all right? And then within each league, there are subdivisions, with the exception of the Duke League. There are a total of six leagues in the Global Championship. The first four leagues have four division each, but the last two, the Duke League and the Royal League, will only have one division. The Duke League is a battleground for the best of the best, who will fight for the right to enter the Royal League. The Royal League is the league of the strongest guilds from all servers, and it will not be available during Season 1 of the Championship. It will be formed based on the results of battles in the Duke League. We'll tell you all about it in detail later when it's available. What do you think about these changes? So, <clears throat> to answer Bambi's question, let me, let me see if I can find... Uh, let me see if I can find the conversation. Where are people at me? Uh, here we go. Here we go. Of 
course I can't find it. Here we go. Here we go. So as of September of 2021, as of September 2021, the, <clears throat> the League of the, the final league was the League of Kings, and now it's called the Royal League. So it's a different it's a different league now. Um, how many were in the Royal League? Six days, ten days. Hi there, currency of the Guild War. Hmm. Ranking distribution, fifty points. Fifteen. There are as of September. 2021 Bambi, there are 15 Duke guilds and 15 Royal guilds. So 15 guilds in the Duke League, 15 guilds in the Royal League, and I believe the bottom five and the top five go in for qualification each month. The bottom five in the Royal League and the top five in the Duke League, duke it out, duke it out for uh, the bottom five position in the Royal League for the following month. And again, these are month-long these are month long tournaments, right? They begin on the first Monday of each month, I believe. And they end, what, 19 days? 19 days of championship, Monday through Friday. No fighting on Saturday and Sunday, as of this document. Things could change, though. Things are likely going to change. We already see some changes already. Does that answer your question, Bambi? By count? Mm -hmm. the chat is quiet today yeah 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 we're off to a slow start but that's okay that's okay it's possible that the alerts didn't go out well there's something like that for the bronze guilds no no topaz no don't like it play better as me and my friends say but Bambi, it might change. It might change. It might not be 15. It might be 20 and 20. It might be 25 and 25. It could change. It could absolutely change. This is this document right here where it's talking about uh, 15 and 15. See right here, the League of Kings is 20 on this document. The top five guilds don't participate in qualification battles at the end of each. Okay, so the bottom 15. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me restate this because I think I got that wrong. According to this PDF document from back in September, there are 20 guilds in the League of in the in the Royal League. 20 guilds in the Royal League. The top five do not participate in qualification battles. The bottom 15 do participate in qualification battles. The bottom 15 participates in qualification battles with the top 15 in the Duke League. And again, I'm, I'm referencing a, a PDF back in September, from back in September. So so a lots of stuff could have changed. I mean, that was four, that was four months ago when this uh, PDF was made. So it could be, it could vary. So who knows? Who knows? But it's coming. It's coming. I believe the last, I believe the last day that uh, Crossover War is going to run, or the last beginning of Championship, I think is the 13th, although I'm not sure. There's no point, Rohan, what are you talking about? You got off the pun? No, Griff can do what he wants. He's not spamming. <clears throat> it's fine. Rohan, what you're doing is spamming, though. It is what it is. <clears throat> so, Global Championship is coming. Global Championship is coming. It's uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I don't expect to do amazing, but I am excited. I am excited about... Uh, having an opportunity to earn some more stuff to fighting more consistently fighting players on my level at least my guilds level not necessarily my level I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to it 
Although it would be nice to relax a little bit. And we've already we've already kind of discussed this. It it is it is possible that we are going to not care so much about guild wars. We may drop to silver in guild wars intentionally. Please tell me the bronze league will be added as the squire league. Probably not. Probably not. Help Charlie out by hitting that like button. Hmm? Sorry guys, just wanted to make a joke, but it took too far. Uh, give me that band stick. Eh. Will global championship rewards be as good as CSW rewards? Um, casual credit, I think that they're going to be the same. I think the global championship rewards, or those rewards you can purchase with the global championship trophies, whatever they're called, I think they're the same rewards as what you can purchase with the crossover war trophies now. With the addition of a couple of probably cosmetic things based on your rank. Hoping matches will be more even. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i in the middle of a blowout week this week right now. We uh, we have no chance. We have no chance against the guild we're facing right now. Kind of sucks. New championship should be fun. Uh, good luck in the world. I mean, yeah, it does not compute. 123 watching and only 46 likes. Yeah, that math. I'm even, I can figure that math out. If you are not in the league, do you have to bring your own coconuts? 10,000 internet points to the first person that says where that reference comes from. Who's not named Griff? 10,000 internet points. Man, it's blowing up. This TikTok is blowing up. 1 in 16, only have 48 people. Monty Python. Oh, Darren wins. Darren wins 10,000 Hero War Central points. Ooh, technically Julia with the acronym... Nobody has given the full title. Let's let's be fair. There we go. Mike with the full title. Mike wins the 10,000. <laughs> uh, let's do, uh, you know, um, the, uh, the uh, um, consolidation prize. We'll give that to Darren. Congratulations. You get 5,000 Hero War Central points. Wow. So yesterday, yesterday we were talking about the best healer, right? We were talking, we were having that healer discussion uh, we, n nobody agreed to anything, right? Cause I'm talking at you guys. We're not, we're not actually figuring anything out, but I decided, and I think generally a lot of people feel the same way, uh, that, that Martha is the absolute best healer on Hero Wars, Facebook and web, not only because of her average utility across most teams, but also because of her necessity in Osh fights in Seymour fights, uh, in specific event boss fights. Uh, Martha is invaluable, just incredibly invaluable to have leveled up. If not the best healer, then certainly tied four or in the top three, right? And then during that discussion, I don't know who it was, but somebody mentioned something about Krista. And that got me really thinking about uh, the, the chaos, the chaos tribe faction, excuse me, the chaos faction. Now we know that this is not final, but we're pretty sure that this is, we're pretty sure that this is final. Astroth, Cleaver, Lilith, Peppy, Dorian, Zisha, Jorgen, Lars, Krista. Before, let's pull her up. Let's pull her up. The twins are an effective combo. Very effective. And this conversation is probably a little bit more on the mobile side of things than Facebook and web, although it probably does carry over to both platforms. So we're just going to kind of discuss it as, as though we're, we're talking about both. Uh, the, the heroes are not different between Facebook and mobile. The only real addition is the, uh, the Ascension plus, you know, 10 levels of stats, 10 levels of glyphs and the pet. You have this area of effects low magic attack modifier ultimate you have this magic defense reduction low magic attack modifier ability you have this ability right here that really only works if you have lars very very low magic attack damage modifier 12 percent and then finally crystallization now Crystallization, while being one of the downsides of Krista and that she's out of the fight part of the time, is actually a huge upside and possibly the only saving grace for 
Krista and all of the options. So before, before tribes were added, excuse me, before factions were added, there wasn't many opportunities for Krista outside of Lars. Now there are various team options you can do with the twins. Lots of twins teams you can go with both on Facebook web and mobile, right? But there was a lot of Lars team options, right? Martha is more appreciated there for her attack speed. Well, still, still, feels so. Um, <clears throat> her ult doesn't work on all bosses. Yeah, it's just a flesh wound. There are a lot more options for Lars without Krista than there are for Krista without Lars. Now, there are some players, heroes, I should say, there are some heroes that do big damage in single hits. Big damage in single hits. Krista's ice block, her violet ability, actually will prevent your team from losing a hero immediately from one of those big hits. Right? You think about Cornelius. Like a buffed Cornelius cannot one-hit Krista. No matter how hard he tries, Krista, when in danger of taking major damage, Krista summons an ice block that protects the caster for two seconds by partially absorbing any incoming damage. Now, this blocks 50% of damage, and it's very difficult for Cornelius to get strong enough to one-hit Krista. Very difficult. Very difficult. You might have to have a solid armor penetration or two. Armor penetration plus some uh, plus some attack bonuses for Cornelius, which is possible. It is possible. It's definitely possible that you can do it. You've got, uh, who is it? Zisha. Where is Zisha? You got Zisha's big hit. Attacks the enemy with the lowest magic defense. This could be hitting Krista. This could one hit an enemy, but it wouldn't one hit Krista. So in my opinion, the only reason... Possibly, possibly the only reason to use Krista now that factions are in and there are even more options for Lars. There are even more options to include Lars in various other teams. Aside from Krista's violet ability, I think she's the absolute worst hero in the game. Very, very specific niche cases is she valuable. Very, very specific. You need an additional frontline tank. Maybe use her. I don't know. You need to stack a magic attack artifact and you are out of magic attack heroes to use. Maybe use her. You just really like the aesthetic of her. If Undead got new members on faction, which is Kark and Undead, so it works for Gensergy. Dev says something about it in a message you'll play on Discord. Her tech doesn't seem to work on everyone. Iris is a nightmare for Krista. Most of Krista's abilities are completely negated by Iris. You're right. Most of Krista's abilities are completely negated by Iris. Worse than Heidi? Yeah, worse than Heidi. Heidi has great options. Great options. I mean, you could just compare some of Heidi's skills. So, five ice attacks at 25% plus 50. I mean, this, this is going to be a bad comparison. 50% for three seconds plus 150. So, I, I think I think that Heidi's ultimate by itself is better. Is better. It doesn't rely... Like, none of this really relies... On another hero. 70% magic attack. Look at all this pure damage. Blind. Pure damage. You have this magic dodge ability in the spy camo. Leave her unleveled. Twins are a great attack team. Okay. 
when you open Facebook Hero Wars, I'll tell you that you didn't do one thing, or I just think because I just I did it just right now. Okay. Okay. I just feel like Krista is the worst hero. And any argument that anybody has, it's so easy to me to just knock down. So that's probably that's probably going to be something that I'm going to explore heavily, 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 heavily explore whenever we get faction brawls. Faction brawls are going to be so huge, guys. Faction brawls are going to be amazing. You know they're going to lock faction brawls behind something, right? It's going to be expensive to do more than like five a day. It's going to be dumb. gonna be so dumb is artemis useful sure she's a damage dealer she's a physical attacking damage dealer she's not reliant on really anybody else i was off last week so not on live streams but i watch on youtube give thank you i appreciate that mr ncsu i appreciate that <clears throat> Let's see, 18 seconds. Here we go. One sec, let me find this video. Let me find this video. <clears throat> All right, so quick update on the uh, quick update on the fight from yesterday. You guys remember the fight? Let's uh, let's talk about the fight real quick. Full screen. Team is defeated. We had this. Uh, we had this. Defeat our guild. Defeat our team in guild battles in less than a minute. Playing Iris and share a replay with us. We put down the we put down the challenge, and the challenge is still open. The challenge is still open. Chaba may be Chaba may be the worst. <laughs> Chaba might actually be worse. She's actually no, Chaba actually got that rework. Chaba got that rework. He's he's stronger than people think now. It's just people haven't really started using him yet. Chaba got that rework at the end of November. I, I think he's better than you guys think. So we had this, you know, we put this out there, this this uh the sweepstakes best time wins kind of situation. And several of you private messaged me some videos. And because of the sheer volume of, of uh fight videos that were sent in, um I wanted to do an update. I wanted to give an update on this. Uh, player R2. R2, I don't know if you're watching. You might be watching. But uh, R2 from server 30, Wrath of the Furians, which is a, uh, I believe that's a uh, um, Vin Diesel movie reference. Um, Perfect Dark? I can't think of it. I can't think of the name of the movie. Anyway, uh, R2 has an 18 second fight here. 18 second fight. We got Nebula Tank. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Um, we got Nebula Tank, Iris, Artemis, Jet, and Thea. 18 seconds. Pitch Black. Thank you. Chronicles of Riddick. Yes, 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 yes. Chronicles of Riddick. One of the, uh, the one where they dealt with the, uh, the undead space people 18 seconds I gotta keep refreshing it so we can talk about it whose hands so this is wild this is wild. The thing that I find the most interesting is that you often see people, you often see people do Nebula on the back end to boost the, the rearmost two heroes. R2 is using... Yeah, Mr. NC, uh, we got it. Uh, R2 is using Nebula in the front to boost heroes in position two and three. Seeing Amira's mage block totally shut down Chris's ultimate server? Yeah. 
Yeah. There's almost no magic damage on this team. There's almost no magic damage on this team. So neither Aurora nor Isaac is charging up. Neither of them are. All right. Nebula isn't actually attacking anybody. Nebula isn't attacking anybody. So Aurora and Dante are not charging up their dodge energy as fast as usual. Nebula doesn't actually do any basic attacks. Once you uh, once you unlock all of her skills, she doesn't actually do any basic attacks. This fight is hilarious. Nebula is so good. Nebula is amazing. D. Warman has a Thea cosplay outfit. Thea is just a five? Probably. Probably. You probably could have gotten away with anybody there. Look at that. Did you see that big crit? Oh my gosh. There's no judge here. Why are we spending so much time on non judge related stuff? Nebula, Iolus, Cornelius, Quick Deck to majority of Corvus and Morgan teams. Oh man, that's good. That's that's a good idea. I love this. I think it's I think it's amazing. A Dante cosplay costume. I could probably have a beard going for Anvari for Halloween. Probably could. Or Marcus. Build a Marcus outfit. I could build an Iris outfit. You guys want to see me dress up like Iris? It's so quick, it's hard to pause at the right time. So, 18 seconds is the time to beat. If you can't beat 18 seconds, don't even don't even send me a video. If you can't beat 18 seconds, don't even send me a video. We're going to watch it again because it doesn't last that long. Crops are ready to harvest. I gotta, I gotta pick my tomatoes in my. Uh... This big hit right here, this floating ball, just is like. Everybody dies too quickly for the ball to even hit them. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand why trying this team does not give good results for me. Isn't max testing the same for everyone? Abderim, I guess maybe it's different pets. Maybe it's different pets. There's definitely an element of luck in there. Anytime you're dealing with critical hit heroes like Artemis, you've got some you've got some elements of luck that you're dealing with also. So it, it it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible that they just got some some good luck in there. Right? It's definitely possible. Nebula three times. <clears throat> Does Nebula do most of the damage? Oh, I'll send uh let me see. Can you send me, can you send me the fight data, damage, healing, etc. Really cool. I love it. I love it. Both credit and dodge or random, so luck is definitely the case. They probably had to run that a couple of times. Probably had to run that fight a couple of times. Yawn. Look at this yawn fest. Yawn. Yawn. Mm. Boop. Oh, man. Where'd my Kai go? My Kai got deleted. Still got some work to do on the Kai, I guess. <laughs> Still got some work to do on Kai. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> Man, I really need to get Biscuit up there. 
I would love to have Biscuit on Astaroth right here. Skins and pets difference matters the most. Kai went, we. <laughs> what is the next skin stone discount? Uh, Willem, I don't know. I do not know. Supreme Kai will change your life. I've never watched Dragon Ball. I'd like to. I'd like to start watching Dragon Ball. A couple of my buddies started watching it, and they talk about it all the time in the group chat. And the rest of us are just like, we kind of know what you're talking about. Like that guy, pick that guy Piccolo is pretty cool, right? I'm not sure who I just copied there. Oh, yes. Copied Maya. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The higher you climb the Hero Wars, the more difficult it gets. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You should definitely watch DBZ. There's no easy... There's no uh, There's no way to watch it real easy. There's no way to watch it real easy. You guys know what I really want to watch? I've been watching the show called um, The Mayor of Kingstown. You guys heard of the show The Mayor of Kingstown? Mayor of Kingstown is a fantastic show. Just I, I love Jeremy Renner. He's the guy that plays Hawkeye in in all the Marvel, uh, Marvel movies. I love Jeremy Renner. I love the other actors in the show. Uh, just a good good show, really good show. And then I found out that the um, the showrunner is the same guy that does Yellowstone, and that's another show that I'd really love to watch. Is and I and I hear it's really good, but I don't have anything that I can watch it on. I don't have anything that I can watch it or uh, Dragon Ball on. Nothing. That little background music hit. Sus. Hit sus. Uh, maybe. Bad timing. My favorite YouTuber. I mean, now we're just getting into mis miscellaneous stuff. Um, there's probably a handful of YouTubers that I drop everything to watch. I, I, I like uh, Casey Neistat a lot. But I feel like that's such a cliche answer. Uh, Juji Mufu is probably my favorite. Juji Mufu is probably my favorite fitness YouTuber. I, I drop everything I do to watch his videos a lot of the time. I like Peter Lindgren a lot. Peter Lindgren is this, uh, he's a YouTuber that does tech reviews over in Sweden. And he and I started at about the same time. And uh, we have similar, we have similar sized channels. He's got a lot more subscribers, but our view count's about the same. Our, uh, that's not true. His view count's way higher than me, but I'm, I'm actually making more, <laughs> I'm actually making more money than he is. Um, which is funny. I'd like to do a YouTube video on that. It's actually, that's actually on the list of videos that I'm going to do for my consulting business is how to make a thousand dollars a month on YouTube. Like how many views does it take? Uh, you have to spend a lot of money to get to where you are. Unlike me, who's a measly 52, uh, Michael, you will get there. You will get there. How often does a hero artifact event happen? Mm, I don't know. I wish they updated the the mobile side of things on HW game, like they do on Facebook and web. Zero views. Did you actually follow up the perfect team with Martha, Sebastian, Dante, Yasmin, Helios, Astra? Uh, Martha, Sebastian, Dante. Yeah, Mark. I, I believe that that team is. Good enough to fight just about every player. I don't think that team has any downsides. I think I think those seven and eight heroes with leveled up pets, I think they can defeat anybody. I'm sure that not every time, because there's some critical hitting and some dodging and but I think they have a chance. I think they have a chance. Team Fight Tuesday? No, we can't do Team Fight Tuesday anymore. Sorry, we just can't. We just can't. Easy day, though. Easy day. Let's fight this chump. Does this guy do the magic damage? I can't remember if he does magic damage or what he does. Uh, 
Whoops. Sorry. Sorry. Ah, <clears throat> uh, it is physical, so Isaac doesn't matter here. <laughs> we need stats on event frequency by type repeat roughly one a month on mobile so so they do they do actually have a a rotation like that for for mobile events but it's just not it's not readily available anywhere which is dumb um who am i missing master off So I have a question why are pets and all of that not on mobile, but they are on Facebook and web tunnels. So Facebook and web has a different development team and the way that Facebook has for space for games, it's a lot easier to update. It's a lot easier to add stuff than on, than on, uh, on mobile and the, the mobile content team have decided to just go a different direction. They, would prefer to focus more on leveling up your Titans, at least at this time. They're wanting to focus more on like high end fighting. There's no real high end fighting on Hero Wars Facebook and web. I'm I'm like scratching the bottom. I'm scratching the bottom of the in game of Facebook and web, and there's just no competition. Like there, there is competition, but once you get, once you get into the gold league, like that's it, that's it. And then the only other thing that you can do aside from Osh, which he's solved now, like we know what you need to do in order to defeat level 160 Osh. It's just a matter of leveling to get there. It's very boring to level to get there too. It's like the, you know, these specific five heroes plus a pet. But then you have this tournament of the elements, which... You know, a big thing is building up your titans for fighting these uh, elemental lords, the fire lord, the water lord, and the earth lord. But if you're a player like me that has decided that they don't like titans, I can't even get to the I can't even get to them to show you that you know they don't they don't like titan fighting. It's boring. You know, my guild doesn't need me to be in titan fighting. It's like another 300,000 emeralds for me to get the next totem fragment. And it might not even be a fragment that I want. This doesn't really matter to me. The rewards are fantastic, right? You get you get some great rewards if you're in the top. A bunch of emeralds. But see, like, even if I was in first place, 100,000 emeralds? What is that, 10 million gold? 100,000 emeralds, I can buy 100,000 emeralds for like 80 bucks. But anybody that's in first place probably spent $8,000 to get there. Right? It'll pay for itself, I guess, in two, five, eight years. <laughs> right? Woo! You know, you get these you get these uh, elemental tournament certificates so that you can buy uh, you can buy skin stones or artifact coins or chaos cores. These hero soul stone like sure getting you know getting fifteen hundred skin stones. I'm sorry, fifteen thousand skin stones a week of the element you want. That's nice, but it's like you don't you don't need you don't need that many like. Eventually, you just don't need that many. I don't know. Facebook and web has no top end. No, I'm sorry. It has a top end. Facebook and web has a top end. It just stops being competitive after a certain point. Mobile has made the decision to focus on hyper-competitive crossover war. Now it's global championship. 
which again has a top. It's just a much, it's just a much higher to reach top. And they chose not to go with pets. They chose to just, you know, keep heroes as is. They haven't really, they haven't really fundamentally done much with heroes. Think about this, guys. Think about this. And the last two years, in the last two years on Hero Wars Facebook and web, they've added pets and ascension. They've added the factions too, right? They have tribes sprinkled about. But you can all agree that the tribes, to an extent, don't really matter on Facebook and web. They don't really matter on Facebook and web. They, they kind of do, right? It, it does a little bit. But you don't see, like, an engineer team dominating the arena. <clears throat> Mobile, they haven't added pets. They haven't added ascension. They haven't added anything to fundamentally change heroes. The factions definitely play a bigger factor. They have a bigger impact on mobile. Yeah, that's weird. Mobile players have deeper pockets. I'm always down for adding fractions. <laughs> Pets are three years. It's three years after him? Man. Man. Charlie can't decide on what pet to level up Axel, Oliver, or Albus. Well, Richard, you got to level up all three. You know, that's my short answer. I think Axel over Oliver. I think Axel has more use cases, but they both have great opportunities. I think you need Oliver. You need Oliver for, uh, you know, for, for thick boy tanks. You need, you really need all three of those for Ash. You really need all three of those for Ash. Weird that mobile has a higher top than Facebook web since mobile is only level 120 and no red gear. Uh, well, I mean, they have they have uh, a requirement to level 25 to 30 heroes, though. Casual credit gaming. Whereas on, on Facebook, you only really need to level like 8 heroes. 10 heroes. You only really need to level 10 at very most. You don't need to level 3 teams of 5 for Grand Arena. You don't. You can just build 2 strong teams. You should build 2 strong teams. You need three strong teams on Crossover Wars. You need three strong teams in Global Championships on mobile. So in a way, it's more expensive. Even though they don't have those those extra 10 levels of glyphs, of items, of skills. Titan Artifact Money Pit. They have, they've added a lot of stuff. They added the, uh, the Titan skins and the Titan Artifacts to mobile. Which is shaking up the, the, uh, the Titan fighting scene. But... You know, again, if you don't play, if you don't play with your Titans, I tell my guild, I'm like, I'm never going to be a Titan. I'm never going to be a bridge troll, you know? So I guess I'm, uh, I'm going to level up these heroes. But lately I've been kind of transitioning over to there. Being a Titan team is much easier. It's, it's more expensive, but it's, it's much easier, you know, if you're trying to get through the day as quickly as possible. 25 ish heroes because of Hydra and plus counter subs, I guess. Yep. That's right. Why Nebula doesn't have a pet in Dungeon Runs? Uh, I don't know. She only can use Kane. So true about needing at least 25 heroes on mobile? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You just don't need that many heroes on Facebook and web. You don't. You don't need them. I'm going to check something here. killer TikTok is insane for organic reach whoops you guys trying to grow a business trying to grow your presence trying to grow your brand TikTok loving heroes I never thought I would do to Hydra yeah yeah there's a new uh, there's an updated um go where are you where are you here we go what the heck i just opened it and then it closed on me there we go
So Adam Rocco put this out about a month ago. This is like the updated top Hydra teams, including Zisha. Not including Amira, but including Zisha. I can't imagine Amira is good against the Hydras anyway. Adam Rocco made this. He, he did a bunch of um, runs with it. Some good teams in here. You can see that Zisha is featured in four of the Hydra heads. Now, you only need to really fight three a day. So, you know, if you want to level a Chaos Tribe, uh, I would say that it is possible you could probably find... One or two good options. I'm looking. Most teams have... A lot of teams that have Zisha have Lilith. No twins. No Jorgen. Yeah. See, what I'm finding on mobile is that the Chaos faction isn't that great against bosses. Specific heroes in the faction are Yeah. People are using Amir versus Hydra? Really? Hey, Charlie, I'm a relatively new player to this game, and as much I put in enough to get me VIP 15, is this something that could help me find a better guild? Well, Russell, I'll tell you this. Uh, good question, first of all. Russell asks if having VIP 15 will get him into a better guild. It, it could, and at the same time, it, it doesn't really, because most, most people that spend on this game, most big spenders... They are VIP 15. A lot of players are already at VIP 15. 12 or higher at least, right? Most players get to 10, 12, 13 or higher. Uh, in my Discord, there's a guild recruitment channels. You can join there. There's one for Facebook, web, and mobile individually. If you're looking for a guild, jump in there and take screenshots of your uh, your Titan team, your guild, your guild war, Grand Arena, power levels share that was in there that's the best way to find a new guild will Zisha and Amira make it to Facebook and web anytime soon Arturo no idea no idea we thought that one of the two of them was going to be the Winterfest hero for Facebook but now we have virus <laughs> what is the idea of having more and more heroes um, Road of Snooker Finals this game is what they call a gotcha game they can infinitely produce new content for this game by just reintroducing, or I'm sorry, by introducing new heroes and reworking existing heroes. Some games require expansion packs, uh, entire, you know, like 10 gigabytes of downloads for new content, new dungeons, new, new story missions. Hero Wars and games like Hero Wars, like Genshin Impact, and Mighty Party and similar games like that, they they add content by adding new heroes. Getting the average player to get excited about something new and shiny and then jumping on that and then, you know, getting sidetracked. <laughs> That's how they do it. Miran Zisha not on Facebook web plus Iris and Asgard not being on mobile. Is Nexus probably trying to do sort of separate? Mark, Yeah, Mark, they're two different games. They're not the same game at all. They're two different publishing companies. No. They're the same publishing company, but two different uh, um, developers. Two different development teams. There's Hero Wars Canvas. And then there's Hero Wars Mobile. Two separate teams. They have separate art departments. They have separate story departments. They have separate financials. They probably have separate accounting. No, they probably don't. They probably don't have a separate, separate accountants. They have separate social media managers. It's separate. All separate. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, live stream tomorrow is at 12 p.m. Central Time. 
we still have about six more days until the mobile and uh, uh, browser team comes back to work. There's probably a couple of more scheduled posts between now and then, but I don't expect to see to see too much new information. Uh, there's probably going to be more global championship information posted tomorrow, right? Probably more global championship information posted tomorrow. So I guess we could look forward to that. But I don't expect to see anything groundbreaking on either version of the game probably for a while. I think we're in a little bit of a lull now. Hey Charlie, I'm Facebook player and use Thea as a healer. My gal had Yasmin, Sebastian, Daryl team. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Thea works just fine. Thea works just fine. So we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. Short of any kind of disaster. Thank you all for hanging out. Good live stream today. Really good live stream. Really good live stream. I guess uh, nothing more to say, but I love you all and good luck in Dominion. <laughs>